In this video, we're going to discuss a few of the features of the K-Rain Super Pro adjustable rotor, show you how to change out a nozzle, and make some adjustments. I'm Dwayne Smith, your Sprinkler Warehouse product specialist. Let's get started. This is the K-Rain 10003 Super Pro rotor. This rotor has a pop-up height of four inches, and it has a three-quarter inch inlet. The Super Pro is both an adjustable pattern rotor and a 360 degree rotor in one. You can set the pattern anywhere from 40 degrees to 360 degrees. And when you set it to 360 degrees, it goes around in a continuous circle. The way you set the pattern on this is incredibly cool. Using this rotor tool or a flathead screwdriver, just point this arrow here to the pattern width that you need. Ta-da! Completely straightforward with no guessing. The Super Pro has an arc memory clutch which prevents internal gear damage and returns the rotor to its prior setting automatically if the nozzle turret is forced out of adjustment. Another added feature is flow shutoff capability which allows you to shut off the flow of water to the head while the system's still in operation, allowing you to do some maintenance on the head without having to turn off your system. It's also perfect for new construction so you can water areas where the sod has already been laid and you can shut off the heads where the sod has not yet been installed. It has a watering distance of 28 to 49 feet, depending on the nozzle installed and how the adjustment screw is set. The rotor comes with this set of nozzles. Let's talk about the various adjustments. Looking at the top of the rotor, this is the pull-up slot. Put your tool in like this, turn, pull up. This is your flow shutoff slot. This is your arc adjustment slot. It's where you set your pattern. And this raised area right here is where you access the nozzle retention screw. Let's go look at this rotor in action. Here we have an already installed 10003 rotor. We're going to start by changing out a nozzle. We could pull up the riser with the tool, but it's easier just to run the zone and turn off the water to the head with the flow shutoff slot. Back out the screw. You need to get it out of the way of the nozzle. Pull out the nozzle with a pair of needle nose pliers. Put in the new nozzle. There's a little divot where the nozzle accepts the nozzle retention screw. That part goes up. Push in the nozzle with your finger. It will go in at a downward angle. Now screw the nozzle retention screw back down. And we'll turn the water back on with the flow shutoff slot. Right now the nozzle retention screw isn't touching the stream of water. Even if you want maximum distance out of your rotor, you still want that screw to diffuse the stream of water a bit for more even spray. See the difference? And the nozzle retention screw can be used to adjust your watering distance, also called the radius. You want the stream of water to reach the next rotor over. That's called head-to-head -head coverage. As you can see, the arc is set to 90 degrees right now. That won't do. So we'll set it to 180 degrees by turning the arc adjustment to point to 180. That's better, but my stop isn't in the right place. So grab the riser and twist. That's the K-Rain Super Pro adjustable rotor. Buy some K-Rain Super Pros on sprinklerwarehouse.com today. Remember, Sprinkler Warehouse has everything you need to make your trees, lawn, flower beds, and gardens lush and beautiful. Questions? Chat with one of our incredible customer service agents on sprinklerwarehouse.com. They really do know their stuff and they'll get you squared away. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for helpful tips, tutorials, and general sprinkler instruction. Sprinkler Warehouse, America's most shop sprinkler store.